Hakim, well played. A goal on your birthday and yeah. obviously going back Thank to you. Wembley. You must be very happy with both of those. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a good day for, my, for myself, of course, uh, and, and for the team as well. Uh, we go back to Wembley. I think that is, uh, that is the most important thing. And, uh, yeah, we move on. How, talk us through your goal. It certainly looked uh, a nicely taken finish or cut in from the right-hand side and finished really yeah, nicely. I think, I think it started good on the left. Um, we switch side uh, on the right moment and, and I get the ball for Mason and, and, and uh, yeah, Aspi make the run behind me and so I had, I had two options and I, I found the space and, and without of thinking uh, I thought I got to shoot and, 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 it went, and it went in so uh, yeah it was a perfect goal. Both goals came in the first half, it was a, a loud atmosphere today, how important was it to, to score earlier and control the game from there? I think in this kind of games, it's always important to score early. I mean, uh, if, if, if you don't score in the first half or in the beginning of the game, uh, they start believing in it and it will be then a difficult afternoon. And I think we, 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 we finished it quite early in the first half. And, and of course, they had some moments where you maybe could think they, they will come back. But I think uh, all in the overall game, we didn't been in a lot of trouble. And, and we can, even in the second half, I think we had a uh, couple good moments to, to make the 3-0, but we didn't. But on the end, yeah, you know, 2-0, uh, it's good enough to go to Wembley. Yeah, and just finally, since the start of February, we've played in five competitions. Yeah. We've played lots of different opposition, lots of different venues. How impressed have you been with the team's adaptability and character? No, well? no, I've been impressed. I mean, we, we played in so many different uh, competitions and we always stood there and, and you know, uh, we always ready and, and we always make it make it uh, come true over 90 minutes, and, and I think yeah, we as a team, how difficult the situation is, um, we always uh, finish the job, and I think we can be proud of that. And, 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 and after the break, to look forward to what's coming. Thomas Chelsea going back to Wembley this time in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Yeah. Uh, what was your overall assessment of the game? Ah, we're super happy to go back to Wembley. This was the, the this was the goal when we arrived, and the. We had a, another impressive performance. We deserved to win. We, we, we controlled the match and we were very focused. Huge effort against the ball. Um, good quality on the ball and uh, in the decisive moments we showed quality. So well deserved and well done. How important were those two goals in the first half in terms of managing the game and the crowd and the occasion as well? Well, this is, uh, I mean, I played uh, many, many years and many, many games as an underdog. So uh, in, in also in the cup and, and what you hope for is a goal and what you hope for is a lead because it gives you belief, it gives you, it gives you the atmosphere, it gives you the stadium and it, it, it gives you something special that you need if you want to overcome. Uh, um, the, the favourites in, in this round, and, and once it's the opposite, and once it's a second one, it, it, it is it's exactly what you want as the favourites, and uh, that's why it was very important to not, to not uh, that it's not necessary that we need to create uh, awful lot of chances and cannot score, that we were uh, effective and, and efficient in front of goal. Um, it's been three wins, another successful week. It's three different competitions as yeah. well. How impressed have you been with the team's adaptability? Very impressive. Uh, to be f fully honest with you, uh, uh, when I woke up this morning, I was n for some seconds not so sure where I am. Uh, and, and then you realize, OK, we're in Middlesbrough in hotel and it's FA Cup. So it's a lot of competition. It's a lot of traveling. It's a lot of uh, different approaches. Uh, sometimes your favorite, sometimes it's, there is no favorite. Sometimes you're underdog. So full credit. I mean, everybody sees us arriving here and sees the shirts and OK says, yeah, this is easy and you have to, you have to and you have to. But to do it in the end is always hard work, no matter if you're favorite or underdog. And, and the, the guys put it in and that's what's impressive. So well done. And just finally into the international break now, a chance for some players to, to switch off. Uh, yeah, hopefully well. some players, of course, but some of them have unbelievable uh, important matches. Jorginho has an uh, important match. Uh, Edu and I surely forget some 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 other guys who, who play qualifiers for the World Cup. So there's no break at all for them, which is a bit concerning, but it's the way it is.